Hello everyone, I'm Jay here at Pongo Techno Valley with an interview with the CEO and founder of Nailwise, Charlie Shin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Tell me a little bit about Nailwise. What does your company do? Uh, Nailwise developed an uh, AI vision system using uh, MPU and silicon photonics. Okay, a an AI vision system. I, I yes. kinda, I've done a, some interviews about AI and uh, sensing technology and stuff, but the other two words you mentioned are the first time I've heard about AI and you said photo, what were the two? Silicon words? photonics. Silicon photonics. Okay, let's yes. start there. What is your solution? What is your AI vision solution and what is silicon photonics? Um, we want to um, uh, develop uh, brain of things. Okay. So um, many of um, most of brains uh, depend on the vision. Right. So uh, our com our technology want to uh, realize AI system in small devices. Oh, very yeah. cool. Uh, we called it a brain of things. Okay. And uh, uh, there are many brains. Um, mm -hmm. Mosquitoes has small brains, right? And in case of human, uh, they have a big brain, right? Smart, smarter, smartest brain, uh, right? In the whole animals, sure. So we um, uh, make a brain um, with vision. Uh, to do that, um, uh, our brain system can calculate and learning, uh, learning itself and also uh, inference uh, in small systems. Okay, so yeah. I, think, I think I kind of understand it. So up until now, AI vision systems, quote unquote, mm -hmm. are taking data or pictures or video and trying, and, and trying to uh, process the data in ways that it can be useful or understanding, but they haven't, it hasn't up until this point been able to be efficiently applied to small systems and you mm -hmm. want to treat something much like our brains yes, and right. our vision system, mm -hmm. right? So what makes your product unique? What is different from other AI vision systems? Um, we use just a lower power than other AI systems ah. because uh, our brain uh, uh, uses just 20% of energies in our body. Okay. So, but our brain, the weight of brains uh, may be uh, over, uh, uh, under uh, five kilograms. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, current AI system um, consume lots of energies in their ah. system because uh, GPU uh, consume a, a great amount of energies sure. in calculations. Right. We want to replace this system uh, using MPU and silicon photonics. Got it. So yeah. you're using these two, te two technologies, first time I've heard them, silicon photonics and MPU to replace normal G GPU, right? Yes, right. And so up until now, these AI vision or processing systems have been using large amounts of data and energy mm -hmm. and space, but you want to make this more compact and more efficient. Yes, right. Can you give me an example? How much energy does the current system use? Oh, um, maybe uh, current uh, GPU system uh, uses uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they use uh, 10 watts per uh, one task. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, um, in case of NPU, can use uh, just uh, one watt per task. Per so, task. so a tenth yeah. of the amount. Yes. In case of silicon photonics, mm -hmm. uh, 0 0.01 watt. Wow, so a, a, a major reduction. Yes, right. What is, what is the advantage of this? Like, do, do we as the general public, everyone uses ChatGTP, everyone's using AI mm -hmm. these days, do, do we not realize how much energy is truly being used? Is it, is it a lot of energy? Yes, right. If um, uh, paid users, uh, ChatGPT's paid user maybe um, uh, 200 million people. Okay. And they search, uh, they use ChatGPT uh, 10 times a day. Okay. And then 10, uh, 
10 asks a day, uh -huh. the total energy of that uh, uh, will be over the, the total energy of uh, souls. Used in soul? Yes, used in soul. The total energy of using AI is more than the total energy of used in soul. You mean today, right? Right. Per day? Yeah, per day. Okay, so basically we need to reduce the yeah. amount of energy that AI is using, correct? Yes. Okay, so that's the main goal and that's what makes your product unique. This system, where is it applied to? What is your target market for this type of system? Mm. Uh, many people told us uh, uh, nowadays um, many companies want to develop and invent uh, AI, uh, um, uh, AI systems. Okay, edge yes. AI, okay. Uh, we want to uh, incorporate our uh, software technology to uh, edge AI systems. Got it. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, cameras. Okay. And um, robots. Okay. And drone. Okay. And so on. And what areas would this be used in? Is this is it used in retail? Well, what's it What's it used for? What's the technology used for? Mm. Um. Retail systems, okay, and also uh, industrial air, industry area, uh -huh. and manufacturing. Uh, so, so it's a it's a real time AI vision system, right? right. In real time, yes. Lower data usage, lower load, less mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. for smaller devices. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, so instead of like up until now, and and again, I, I'm. I'm, a, I'm not an expert in this field, but as far as my understanding is AI has been processing a ton of data. Mm -hmm. There's more and more people using AI. Mm -hmm. And before you kind of had to feed the AI system so it could learn and then update and then process data, but you're talking about smaller devices, real-time monitoring and tracking, yes. and lower energy consumption, yes. which is what apparently a lot of the companies are now looking for. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not in the AI <laughs> development world, but this is what people are looking for. Is this product, is it in the uh, startup stage? Is mm -hmm. it already being used in Korea? Is it being used abroad? What are your plans for this solution? Um, are you, is, it, is it available in Korea or is it in testing stage? Oh, it, it, it's in testing stage. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, in case of uh, MPU systems are uh, popular, uh, uh, many, many companies want already use uses uh, MPU systems okay. in their system uh, okay. in their in their products in their products okay yes. uh, but uh, silicon photonics it's very um, uh, infant stages okay yes so it's cutting edge technology in in the development stage right now mm -hmm. do you plan on launching this technology once it once it's proven, I guess I could say, do you plan on launching it in Korea first? Do you plan on launching it globally right away? What's your plans for the technology? Um, commonly, we want to um, develop this for uh, Korean, Korean market. First, okay. First, and then uh, after, uh, uh, after proving product market fit, mm -hmm. and then we want to expand our market to global. So it's for, it's for retail, it's for industry, it's anything that needs real-time, low-energy, AI-sensing technology. And much like our brain, you're saying it, it works mm -hmm. as like our brain and our eyes, for example. Mm -hmm. We're in Pangyo Techno Valley right now. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage of being here? Is it, is it the location? Is it the people? Why do you like working here? Location and people and environment. Okay. Yes. Uh, many uh, startup companies are crowded in Pangyo mm -hmm. and, uh, and Gyeonggi-do. And Gyeonggi-do support um, uh, many startup companies, and it's one of uh, opportunity for uh, startup companies. Absolutely. Yeah. So your company is called Neowise. Mm -hmm. What is the product called, or your solution? What's the name of your solution? Neovision. Okay, so Neowise and then Neovision. Yes. And I, I think I got this. I've said this several times, but I'm, I'm making sure I got this right. It is a low energy, real-time AI sensing and tracking technology, yes, right? Yes, and high performance. And high performance, yes. there we go. Is there anything else you would like to add to our interview today? Oh, yes. Is, is there anything else you would like to add? Is there anything else, are you looking for, are you looking for partners? Is there something you're looking for in your company? Mm, yes, uh, our company want to make um, uh, realize human uh, consciousness 
Okay. To uh, small robots or small products. Okay. So we try to uh, develop uh, brain of things uh, in this world, and it helps um, uh, infect uh, to human mm -hmm. uh, with a good uh, good synergy. And sure. uh, after uh, using uh, this technology, mm -hmm. and many people um, mm, uh, expand their uh, potential. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Yes. So through this type of technology, we're moving on now from the, the beginning stages of AI and what mm -hmm. we understand, big computational data, big systems, mm -hmm. input data, wait for result type thing to smaller, mm -hmm. more efficient, real-time AI and yes. you want to provide this solution. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's still in the startup and development phase right now. Mm -hmm. So it's still in the testing phase, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Charlie, thank you so much for your thank time you. today. Thank you. I'm Jay here at Panjo Techno Valley. That is our interview with Neowise with cutting edge technology using MPU and photo one more time. Silicon photonics. There we go. Silicon, the first time I've ever heard this word. Silicon photonics to make more efficient AI systems that process data in real time and reduce the energy of these AI systems. Charlie said that the AI systems these days, just chat GTP alone is using more energy a day than the entire city of Seoul. <laughs> so look for Neowise in the future and their cutting edge technology. I'll see you guys next time.